Belarus. We, uh, unfortunately, I uh, have to say that the situation is not uh, improving, and we see the efforts of the regime to uh, penalize and to prosecute the people of Belarus, peaceful protesters of Belarus. Uh, I think that we need, as a European Union, we need a coordinated approach, coordination, coordinated policy regarding this regime. We should not be misled by individual actions of uh, Alexander Lukashenko. For example, I have, I have in mind his meeting with the imprisoned persons in the prison, uh, opposition leaders in the prison. I think that this is only the attempt to buy the time in order to adjust and in order to control the situation. So in this case, the European Union should consider the second stage or second package of the sanctions which could be imposed on Belarus. And I would like to use this opportunity and to say uh, uh, thank you very much for, for our colleagues. Uh, which uh, showed uh, solidarity with Poland and Lithuania, because uh, those two countries were attacked by the regime. You know that uh, Alexander Lukashenko required to reduce the number of personnel in the embassies of those both, both countries, and our colleagues showed the solidarity by uh, recalling the ambassadors for consultations and also uh, by using other methods and uh, diplomacy. This is very important uh, and this is very valuable for us. Climate change. Uh, we are very ambitious in this field and Lithuania did a lot uh, since the regaining of uh, independence. Uh, since 1990, we already reduced uh, the CO2 emission by uh, 58%. This time we have to do this in much shorter period. In this case, we need a very fair uh, burden-sharing mechanism, which could be uh, based on the GDP per capita in market prices. And of course, we need uh, individual evaluation of possibilities of each individual country of European Union, including my country, Lithuania. In this case, we can prepare very comprehensive, detailed and targeted plan how to deal with the climate change until 2030. Thank you.